Hello everybody. How's everybody doing? I had stated in the past that Derek Chisora is modern a modern day Joe Frazier. Obviously not when it comes to legacy or how good you are relative to your contemporaries. But as far as just comparing the athletes, the the pugilists, the sweet scientists, if you will, comparing skill and technique. And also, obviously, the bodies, the athletes. And I always thought of those two guys as basically on the same level, right? If you were to match them up head to head, um, they would have they would have similar success in whatever era they fought, right? If you if you put Derek Chisora in Muhammad Ali's era and Frazier in you know Chisora's era, they would roughly be the same fighter with the same kind of accomplishments and they would just they're interchangeable that was basically the the point I was trying to make now I've never done a film study on these two guys head to head like that but I was just speaking from the overall understanding I've had of both fighters having seen a few of their fights I rated them in my head at roughly the same level as far as the athlete, right? So I figured we'd do a film study and and see how accurate that statement was, if you agree, you disagree, and all that other good stuff. Now, Ali, Frazier are both in their prime. I think Ali is about 30 years old. Frazier is, I don't know, 26, 27, something like that. So they're both in their physical prime. You know, they're fighting an elite opponent. And they're at their best, basically, yeah? Ali has, I want to say, three and a half inch height advantage and a five inch reach advantage and a 10 pound weight advantage. He looks much bigger, doesn't he? Frazier is very energetic and explosive, right? One big reason why I also compared Chisora and Frazier is because, to me, I don't know what the fact is, but to me it looks like Chisora modeled his style after Joe Frazier, right? But you see Frazier moving his hands around in front of his face, kind of giving Ali different looks, and going up and down, up and down, right? He's a sucker for an uppercut, but he's also, he moves very quickly, and and he's moving his head and his hands, and his hands are, for the most part, in front of his face, but his head is in front of his front foot. He's very front foot heavy. He's lurking, leaning in over his front foot, so he really is, you know, he's right there for you to punch him, especially with an uppercut. Look at how Ali lunges in with the wide punch with his chin up in the air. And then throws another punch with his chin up in the air, hands down, right? Lunging in, leaning in. Whoo. <laughs> you can't get away with that shit at the highest level of boxing today. You just can't. Not very long anyway. But he's fast and he's athletic and he moves well, right? But he's throwing a lot of wide punches, not really setting them up, just swinging for the fences. Frazier's able to block or slip most of these shots, but he's starting to get hit. Right? Ali's covering a lot of ground, bouncing around, and then setting to, to throw punches. Punches are very telegraphed from Ali because you know he's going to stop and throw, right? But he's fast, so it's difficult to uh, see the punches coming too because Ali's just fast. He could set very fast. But you know when he's bouncing around, he's not likely to be throwing. It's it's when he hits the canvas that's when you got to watch out for him, right? 
like right there. See how far Frazier le leans in over his front foot? I don't know why Ali isn't throwing uppercuts, period. Right? This, what you do with this guy that's doing that, you stick your jab out there, looking to control his head, right? And then just hold him, try to hold him for an uppercut. Not literally hold him, but use your hand to control his head, right? Cut off his exits. Put your head, your hand over the top of his head, right? So when he moves his head up, he's going to run into your head. And then as you pull that lead hand back, try to time the uppercut, right? Control his head. And it's a fine line between holding and hitting, right? But that's where the skill comes in. But Ali doesn't have... He controlled his head. When, when he misses his big punches, he does a good job of controlling his head. You see? Grabbing, grabbing a hold of him, basically. But he's not setting up his punches. And it's not easy to land on Frazier because he's moving his head. But there he goes again, right? Just moving his head in front of you without throwing any jabs on the way in, any straight punches. Just wants to move his head and set off hooks. So he's giving you opportunities. But obviously, you got to be careful of the counter punch, right? That big counter left hook. And Frazier's explosive. He takes his head off the line when he throws that big hook. He times Ollie well, but uh, doesn't quite get there with, you know, full power. Probably because Ollie's got that reach advantage, right? So it's a little difficult for Joe to get close to him. But he buzzes him a little bit. Man, look how much bigger Ali is. Maybe it is only 10 pounds, but it's a big difference, right? Holy shit. See that lead hand that Ali threw there? Keep it out there. Like, don't pull it back. Keep it out there and keep it in front of his head, right? Wherever his head goes, just move it around with his head, right? So blind him, control his head, and then try to get him with an uppercut or whatever's there, right? But Ali doesn't quite have the understanding of that sort of technique. And his hands are low, right? He's not controlling his opponent, and his hands are low, right? And he leans in, too. Tries to grab hold of him, but doesn't control that hand in time. Oh, maybe he did, but man, almost got cracked. Frazier's just throwing big, wide swings, right? Not using the jab on the way in. There he is. There he threw a 1-2, one, 1-1-2, one, one, and was able to get inside, but for the most part, He's not using his jab on the way in. He just wants to slip under Ali's punches and detonate that big left hook. There he used some good footwork to get around, step to the side and get him with the left hand to the body. You know, very predictable there. <coughs> Excuse me. A little dirty, using his head a little bit. There, Ali uses a little bit of control, right? But he should have kept that lead hand out there and kept controlling him. If he wants to throw punches at him, right? He just let Frazier walk him through ropes, man. He just let him... Frazier wasn't cutting the ring off or anything, right? Ali just lets himself be walked through the, through the ropes. And Frazier just says, hey. Looks like he lands a low blow and Ali just holds on to him. Hold on to him. There he's using a little bit of control. Not too slick, but it is what it is. Ali's able to maintain distance and set off some good punches that don't really land too well. But then, man, he's just backing away with his hands down, straight back. Oh, God. What if that's Chisora landing on you? On Ali, right? 200, 
40 pounds. Fight's over, man. Anyway. Ali goes straight back, gets walked through the ropes, gets hit with his hands down. By a guy that's, you know, he's quick, he's explosive, he's a good fighter. Right, but he's doing the same thing over and over. It's very rhythmic, it's it's predictable. If you could control your opponent, I mean he's he's dead meat, right? Doing that in front of you. Not throwing any straight punches on the way in, not really throwing anything. Just that very repetitive leaping in wide telegraphed left hook that is sometimes fast, but now that he's taken a few punches, all of a sudden it doesn't look as fast anymore, right? And he's just in front of Ali doing the same thing and just eating shots, right? There's less and less head movement. It's like he's slowing down already. It's it's the first round only. And Frazier's already slowed down quite a bit, right? The left hook isn't quite as fast anymore, but and it's the same thing over and over. I mean, sometimes it's a lead punch. Sometimes it's a counter. There he uses a jab again. I mean, he threw three jabs in this round. He'll throw a one, a one-two, or a leaping left hook so far. And that's fine. I mean, it's the first round, right? But that's what we got. Both fighters, you know, very flawed, very hittable. But they're doing a lot. They're moving fast. Um, there's a lot of stuff happening. It's, it's a pretty good, exciting fight. Some good punches are landing. It's, um, you know, world champion. Was it? Yeah, it was a world championship fight, I think. I think it was. Anyway, not important. Two elite fighters in their respective era. And now we got, obviously... The modern day Joe Frazier against, well, in this case, a version of Muhammad Ali. And Klitschko has, I believe, also a five inch reach advantage. And I want to say a five inch height advantage. I think that's what it is, roughly thereabouts. And, but they weigh the same, they're both 240 pounds, right? So he has more of a height advantage than Ali did over his opponent. Not by much. But he doesn't have the significant weight advantage that Ali did over Prime Frazier. And, you know, Ali was in this prime, uh, 30 years old. Klitschko is 42 here, right? He's an old man. This is the tail end of his career. Chisora, I believe, is 29, 30, thereabouts, also in his physical prime. And you could say in the best shape of his career. So Klitschko's not prime or in his prime. Chisora is. Right off the bat, Klitschko is using his lead hand to probe and land a big right hand, right? He misses. Chisora blocks it, see? Look at Chisora's defense, right? Throws his elbow out there. Parries that shot, deflects it a little bit perhaps. Klitschko can't land. And look at Klitschko's feet. Boop. He's on the other side of the ring, right? Ali could get from one side to the other side of the ring, but Ali would go all the way around the perimeter and it would have taken, you know, six seconds, four seconds, you know what I mean? Klitschko just, boop does it it's not impressive right because it's not exaggerated he didn't cover all this ground and let you you know dance around let let the crowd get excited he just stepped around his opponent right changed the angle like that right it's not what it looks like it's what it does and obviously if i'm comparing chisora to fraser i also have to compare the opponent that he's in the ring with, uh, the challenge that he's faced with, right? So you already see a more efficient fighter than Ali, whose feet, he doesn't bounce around on his feet very much. 
he just shuffles his feet so he's always in position to hit you. Ali could sit very fast, right? And hit you also. Uh, but Klitschko's a lot more efficient. You know what I'm saying? The end result might be the same. Let's say seven punches in 12 seconds, right? From this angle and that angle, let's say. Both can do roughly the same thing. But Klitschko's a lot less exaggerated and a lot more efficient at what how he does it, right? And he's also... 25, 30 pounds, wait, what was that? Yeah, 25 pounds heavier than Ali and, and just a bigger man, right? And he's constantly probing with his left hand, right? Controlling, trying to control that head, right? Something that Ali really doesn't know very much about, didn't know very much about. And Chisora is, he's not going to be as explosive and or as fast as Frazier, who's, you know, 30... 35 pounds lighter than Chisora. This guy's 35 pounds heavier, right? So you can't, if you want to say they're on the same level, you can't expect this much bigger man to be as fast, right? Because, and but at the same time, there's also going to be a lot more power behind his shots, right? And he's fighting a bigger man, a bigger guy than Ali, so you're not expecting, so he also should have a slower target in front of him, you know what I'm saying? It's it's all very important, but you see Chisora protecting his face with that kind of a modified crab or whatever it's called defense, looking to parry shots very much like Frazier, but his face is behind his front foot. He very rarely step, puts his, hangs his chin out there to dry. You know what I mean? He's got better balance than Frazier, and he's not. Um, he's not so front foot heavy where you could just hit him with an uppercut, right? And see how he uses his hands to parry shots? But Klitschko could still, you know, he finds the angle for his shots anyway and is able to land the strafing right hand on Chisora. Do you see Klitschko's defense too? Something that Ali didn't really do that much or not as not as well. See? Chisora is able to counter... But Klitschko is able to block the counter, right? He's not backing out with his chin up in the air. He's um, stepping around and just throwing his hands out, hands out there to block any incoming firepower, right? So he's shutting he's shutting Chisora down also. So, you know, Frazier, Frazier was able to do a lot more in front of Ali because Ali didn't use these techniques like that, you know? Not as well anyway, and not as much. It's not as advanced. And Klitschko's throwing these, like, not very fast, but short punches. They're quick and short. They're arm punches, but they're heavy. He's not landing very cleanly, but he's giving Chisora something to think about. Right? You see, Klitschko is... He's not flat-footed, but his feet are planted a lot more right he's constant he could be throwing at any point that's what makes him a lot more dangerous than Ali not just the fact that he's bigger Ali could set his feet also very fast and be able to throw but you didn't really see this much lateral movement with the potential for punches at any one point right because Klitschko's taking little steps and he's shuffling his feet and he's not bouncing around, getting out of position as much as Ali, right? So that's going to shut Chisora down. But you see the same sort of up and down movement. <coughs> Obviously, he's not going to be as fast again or explosive as a guy that's 35 pounds lighter than him. But he also has... A much more difficult challenge in, in front of himself. See the like the really short little punches from weird angles that Klitschko could hit you with. They're arm punches, <coughs> but they disrupt you and they fuck you up and I need a drink of water. And um a lot of lateral movement. Klitschko's constantly moving his feet. <clears throat> you 
you see Chisora trying to get in. He's not using his jab either. Trying to counter, but eating shots on the way in. Like Ali was outboxing um, Frazier, right? Klitschko's able. <coughs> but you see, unlike Ali, Klitschko is... Damn, I need another sip. Excuse me. Aware of the counter is coming and he rolls him with the shoulder, right? <coughs> God damn it. His chin is up in the air a little bit. Not as much as Ali, but he is also hiding behind the shoulder. And he's reacting to counter punches, right? So it's not as easy to counter him as, as Ali. See that pesky probing jab? <coughs> Sorry about that. Body punch and, and tie up. He's not as fast as Ali, but his opponent's not as fast either. But again, they're much bigger man, right? With more firepower. There, there Chisora was able to counter him. But Klitschko rolled that punch. But he got hit a little bit there and started using a lot more movement, right? 42-year-old man. See that? See that footwork? Klitschko, Klitschko is excellent footwork. Especially a guy this big at 42. Constantly throwing punches at you. Like Ali. Constantly changing the angle. Circling you. Right? Any Anytime Chisora tries to throw something, there are punches coming right at him. Klitschko's countering him, right? It's a dangerous style that he fights Klitschko, but he's very defensively, not responsible, but just aware, right? <laughs> See, Chisora starts throwing straight punches now, and the first time, I, it seems like the first time he threw a jab, Klitschko just countered him with the left hook, right? And then he tries to throw the jab again, and gets countered again. You can't, you can't be repeating the same thing against Klitschko. He's just going to catch you, right? You can't just be jumping in with the, with the same kind of punch because he sees it. You see Klitschko's defense, how much more defensively um, aware he is than Ali. He sets off a punch, right? And he's open for the counter. Oh, wait. He backed out of there, right? There he goes, throws a 1-2 and misses. And Chisora tries to counter, but Klitschko gets his hands up in the air, right? To parry, right? The shot doesn't get there. Very defensively responsible. Even there, where he looks like he's open and Chisora's slapping, you see Klitschko's, and he's always throwing at you, right? See? How he's got his lead hand in front, didn't quite get there in time, but it's something that Chisora has to punch through. And then he's got his right hand. It's not perfectly by his chin, but it's close enough to where, you see, he's able to control Chisora and block that punch. He gets slapped a little bit, but he completely disrupted that punch and, you know, um, nullified it, basically. Very defensively responsible. Not as fast as Ali, right? But, again, much bigger and, you know, 12 years older. <laughs> See, he's using control like Ali was. And lateral movement to get to the center of the ring. Quick little up jab or whatever that was. Then he does that you know, Ukrainian school of boxing that now that Lomachenko's doing it, American fighters are looking to copy, right, and do what Lomachenko does, but this is where Lomachenko learned it. Both brothers did it, right? Boom, smack. Look at how much lateral movement Klitschko's given them, and, but he's always in position to set off shots, right? 
Just so I can't do anything against this man. Look at these punches, man. He, see, you remember how Frazier was able to just walk Ali back to the ropes, right? Even though Ali had a 10-pound advantage, right? See how Klitschko controls his opponent, right? Doesn't, and steps out of there, right? Chisora can't just, he has to cut the ring off, right? He's not, Klitschko's just not going to back himself to the ropes like Ali would let, Ali would do, right? So this is a much more difficult opponent, technically much better fighter than uh, Muhammad Ali. More sound, a lot trickier with greater punch variety, right? He's completely shutting Chisora, Chisora down. Not letting Chisora even set his feet. And as soon as Chisora sets his feet, bam, punches are just coming at him. He's not landing. Ali probably had more success landing on Frazier. Well, I don't know. But when he does land, and big punches and see, he lands the shot and then steps off the line. He's not there for the return, right? So Chisora's looking like shit here, right? In comparison to, to Frazier. Frazier had a lot more success because Ali was going back in straight lines and wasn't controlling Frazier as, as well as Klitschko is controlling Chisora, right? But you're seeing, it's not as exaggerated as Frazier, but you're seeing Chisora use, you know, move the hands in front of his face and go up and down a little bit but keep a good balance you know not not get his face in front of his front foot trying to change the angle and a different come in and a little bit differently now Chisora starts to throw his jab because he's not having any success right so he starts throwing straight punches there he goes with the patented leaping left hook right He's got the ability of Joe Frazier, right? Again, I'm not saying he's as fast or explosive, but he could do the things that Joe Frazier does. And in many ways, he's doing it technically better. But look how Klitschko is controlling him, right? Protecting himself. That leaping left hook shit, it doesn't work on a well-schooled Soviet, post-Soviet fighter. That, that like telegraphed athletic type shit it doesn't work on, on a sweet scientist it might work on Ali but it's not going to work on fucking Klitschko you know what I mean you might you might surprise him you might catch him right but he knows he knows what to do he knows how to prevent that right protecting his chin and controlling you so you're not going to land anything clean and he's stepping off the line um, not letting you trap him on the ropes right Technically much better than Muhammad Ali. Much better schooled fighter, right? Because, look, it's not the athletic American school of boxing. This is the sweet science Eastern European school of boxing. You understand? Boom! See? Control. Look, see? Just as I was trying to do the leaping left hook again, right? Or something along those lines. See, he kind of fainted and went for it, just like Joe Frazier does. I mean, that was just as fast and explosive as Joe Frazier, really. And then he tries to do it again. And see how Klitschko controls him with the left hand, stops him from coming forward. Right? Doesn't allow him to do that. And then goes, boom, right hand. Right? And then look at Klitschko's defense. Whoop. See? Control the opponent. After you throw punches, control your opponent. And then throw some more punches. So, you know, I made this comparison, uh, Frazier Chisora, but like Frazier was able to show us a lot more than Chisora, right? But that's because you had a guy that's basically, even though he's the improved version in many ways of Frazier, um, this version of Ali, if you will, is so much more technically advanced that it's really shutting down this more um, old school way of fighting that's not as technically advanced. You understand what I'm saying?
Then he surprised them a little bit, but not really. See? Very, very similar fight stylistically and technique-wise. But you see how Vitaly Klitschko has the answers that Ali didn't have for a Frazier kind of style. You know what I mean? Anyway, let's watch the second round of Ali Frazier. And maybe we'll just stop at that. Is this the second round? Kind of looking uh, in slow motion there. Okay, this was the first round. Frazier using his head. Frazier's a lot more active than, than Chisora. Oof, Ali's playing with fire, man. Here we go. Let's look at this slow motion replay. Ali grabs the smaller man and tries to neutralize him after he gets hurt, right? The hell was that? What kind of a replay was that, man? Who wants to see that shit? Anyway, here we are. How long is this? 32 minutes already? Round two. What's Frazier going to do? Oh, leaping left hook. What a surprise. Still pretty energetic. Ali just stood there, right? What would a Klitschko done? Stuck his lead hand out there and stepped off the line and protected his chin, right? You would have never you you would have never seen that punch from from Frazier. And if he still tried it, he, there were gonna be counter punches coming at him, right? That's why that's why he, how that's how Klitschko was able to shut Chisora down, right? But Frazier's also just, you know, smaller man. He's got going to have more stamina. Smaller fighters tend to throw more punches. So he's going to throw more punches than Chisora anyway. But, you know, he comes out with the same, same thing, right? Up and down and wild left hooks. Ali just walked into that. Ali's not controlling his opponent at all. He's just throwing punches and hoping that something lands, right? Just setting off bombs. Whoa, shit. Grabbed hold of him there, but not very well. Man. Ali's defense was suspect, man. Suspect. Just hard jabs. Oh, shit. Hard jab, hard right hand. No no control of your opponent whatsoever. Just throwing bombs and then dropping your hands. Whew. Look at that. Boom. Wide open. No defense. No, no setup for his punches. Like, whoo. Very technically flawed fighter, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Chisora would have knocked him out right now. You know what I mean? Imagine a 230-pound man. Just, he would have knocked Ali out in that instance. And I know it like it, it doesn't sound right because it's, it's Muhammad Ali. It's the greatest fighter of all time. And Chisora is bullshit, right? But hey, boxing, the art of boxing is advanced. Anyway. Frazier is dirty, but Ali has no control of the smaller man, right? You got to control the guy. Oh, shit. He's beating Ali's ass. 
He's using his head being dirty. He's not landing much, but the left hook just keeps. Jesus Christ, Adi has no defense, man. His defense just holding, that's it. Or or throwing punches. But when he throws his punches, he's just wide open. I'm sorry, guys, but like this sort of Ali. Chisora would have killed this Ali, man. You think Ali would be able to stop? Unless Ali is able to stop Chisora with his power, which is hard to imagine a 215-pound guy just stopping when he can't stop Frazier in his tracks, right? It's hard to imagine him being able to stop someone like Chisora. But... Like, no setup for the jab. Just just throwing it with power. Everything with power on it, right? Holy shit. <laughs> oh, these guys would have been journeymen in, in today's boxing. In, well, in Cl the Klitschko era. Like, I'm not even trying to hate, but you can't be doing that. They might do okay in, in cruis at cruiserweight, you know what I mean? They might be able to take those guys' punches better. But they're there, right? They're there to be hit, these guys. And what's Frazier doing? Just going to the body, straight punches to the body. Pushing Ali, not even cutting the ring off, just putting him, pushing him to the ropes with just straight punches. Right? It's the second round, and, and Frazier's not really, did he like blow his wad or something in the first round? Maybe he's taking his time. But you see how all of a sudden Frazier's defense not as good? Ali's sharp right here. This is like real nice. Sharp. Boom. Really nice sharp punches. Fast, athletic. So he's able to piece him up a little bit there. But man, he's not able to stop him, right? He just hit Frazier with like three big punches and wasn't able to stop him in his tracks and took a counter left hook. And almost another one, right? Chisora with much longer reach and more punching power. You don't think you would have knocked out Ali right then and there? Definitely would have cracked him. Anyway, Frazier's having a lot more success basically with Ali than Chisora did with Klitschko because Ali just gives you so much more like look at Klitschko keeps his head he sits on the back foot right and then he leans back you got to really lunge in and try to get at him right Ali just gives you his head he's front foot heavy right see how heavy on the front foot he is he's right there for these punches his right hand is down he's just trying to there he used a little bit of control. But it doesn't even look in, like he knew what he was doing, you know. But Frazier's feeling these punches and, and Ali's slowing him down a little bit. But there's a lot less head movement now from Frazier. He's not as energetic anymore. You know, he's more hittable all of a sudden. And Ali's taking advantage. Frazier just wants to hold and clinch. And he's not really throwing much. He's not really offering very much. Definitely no jab. Like, this is, this is better than what Chisora can do? Like, in what way, shape, or form? It's more hittable. He's a lot more hittable than Chisora. And he's not really doing much more than Chisora either, is he? And he has an easier opponent in front of him than, than Chisora did. Holy shit. How many of these left hooks could Ali take from Chisora, right? And I know Chisora is not as fast, let's say, sometimes he is, than... Frazier, but again, he's got much longer arms, 
or longer arms than Frazier and he punches a lot harder and he takes a better punch. So, I mean, he's much, much bigger than Frazier. So, I don't know if Ali would have been able to take these punches from Chisora, man. I don't know. I, was it impressive what um, what he did here, Frazier? Was there was there anything like okay? Maybe he threw more punches than Chisora, but it's basically the same. It's basically the same fighter, isn't it? Why can't I get a round marker? What's up with these people? Germans. Anyway. This is still the first round, looks like. Here we go. Second round of the Klitschko Chisora fight. Hopefully Derek shows us some more stuff. It gets a nice body punch in there. Oop. Here we go, round two. There, Derek comes out jabbing, throwing straight punches now, right? Three in a row. Good tactic, right? He's switching it up. He's doing something different. And, and he's having success because he's throwing a straight punch. Like he's stepping off the line, throwing his jab. Right? Frazier wasn't doing that stuff. He threw his jab a little bit, but he wasn't committed to his jab like Chisora, right? Wasn't having this much success. But Klitschko is able to answer. But you're seeing maybe a little bit more versatility from Chisora. Right? Up and down. Very much like Frazier, but Klitschko's not there, man. And he's constantly throwing punches at you. See how he redirects that punch from Chisora? It's hard to see, but Klitschko is sticking his arms out there, backing away from that punch and deflecting it, right? And sticking constantly sticking that jab in his, in his face, you see? Controlling him. Chisora's trying to jump in. And he's walking in with these big swinging, looping punches like Frazier. But Klitschko's stepping off the line. Now he's, now he's moving like Ali. Not, he's not bouncing, but he's covering, you know, he's gliding along the ropes and, and using lots of lateral movement, fast feet. He's covering a lot of ground, right? Like Ali. Obviously, it looks different, but the effect is the same. He's got to fight this guy off. But unlike Ali... Klitschko is better at taking the center of the ring, if only momentarily, right? And he's aware of the counterpunch. Ali would have just sat there and taken counterpunches, right? But Klitschko's not there for Chisora. He's doing the same thing Ali did, but he's doing a, a better job of um, holding Chisora's arm, right? So he can't punch him with that arm right there with the left with the left hand boom right nice counter punches on the way in see control that head put your one of your hands in this case the left hand the lead hand to the side maybe on top of his head you're throwing a punch you're not holding him but you're throwing a punch right pulling it back Controlling his head. Because you know the guy's going to be going up and down, up and down. So cut him off when he's going up. So he's coming back down and into your left hand, right? Uppercut. Boom. And then more punches on top too as he's coming up. Boom. And, and always using that lead hand to control him, right? Control with the lead hand. Bash. Right? And look at how Klitschko is protecting himself from... 
a counter left hook should have come upstairs. Um, Chisora finds the body, but you know, the elbow is there, and you're not you're not going to be knocking out Klitschko with with the body punch, right? But you see the defensive responsibility and how, unlike Ali, Klitschko, after he's done punching, he's right back on defense, right? And controlling his opponent and on defense. Ali Ali didn't have that kind of skill. Well, he's not showing it in that fight, right? So this is a much more difficult opponent for Chisora than Ali was for Frazier. And Klitschko is fainting, right? He shows you that lead hand, boop, and then hits you with it, right? Chisora can't even go. Chisora tries to look. Chisora tries to go down, right? Because he does the up, up and down thing. This is the second round, and Klitschko got it figured out. This guy wants to go up and down, right? So when he goes down, I'll pick him up with the shot, and then as he comes up, right? As he's controlling him with the lead hand, as he comes up, I'm gonna throw punches from up top right it's just a lot more advanced and and just better sweet scientist than ali he's just is understanding his opponent a lot more than than ali and see again he gets his punches off and he's controlling after he's done punching he's controlling his opponent and parrying blocking his punches too right he's completely shutting down um Chisora, just like you would a Joe Frazier. Except Frazier couldn't take too many punches from this much bigger man with a, you know, 40 pound advantage. No fucking way. I mean, he's just completely shutting down Chisora, man. Chisora will have a little bit of success here and there, but see, unlike Ali, he's not there for, for the return. So Chisora can't do anything, and Frazier would look the same way against this guy because he wouldn't be sitting there like Ali just waiting for the receipt, you know what I mean? Boom. Like, people look at someone like Klitschko and, you know, it's awkward, it's, it's whatever. Like, they look at what it looks like and not what it does so they don't understand it they don't appreciate it but it's not about being flashy fresh flying flashy whatever the fuck that weirdo says it's about being effective right not she's just not there for the counters leaping left hook that shit's not gonna work on a modern sweet scientist right this is like this is on even in Ali's time that shit was old. I mean, fighters will forever throw that thing and leaping left hook. And if you're really fast and athletic, you'll be able to land it on most fighters out there, right? But fighters who know how to counteract that, right? They'll just put the right hand up and stick the left hand out there, and. You, you won't have any success with that stuff today against, you know, an elite, elite, all-time great fighter. Do you see how quick that left hand was from Klitschko? All the feints and bam. That's really fast. Very much like Frazier, you know, Chisora just has no answers. He's, he's being shut down much, much more than, than Frazier because this is a much more advanced technical fighter in, in front of him. It has a lot more to offer than, than Ali. But Chisora's trying to his credit. It's just too much movement, too much firepower, too much skill. Let's check out some slow motion, right? Chisora tries to go down. Boom. And then he comes up. Boom. And that jab is always in his face, controlling him, right? The lead hand. Whatever form the lead hand takes, right? Not a very effective punch. Not a very strong punch, but there it is, right? 
a little jab, and boom, strong right hand, and not being there for the counter. See how he controls him after he punches and steps off the line? Man, hopefully Chisora could pick it up a little bit because it's really not looking good for him. See? Klitschko just has him figured out. Chisora tries to dip and go with the hook or whatever, and Klitschko just picks him off now, right? He just steps in and picks him off. Boom, body shot. And steps off the line and out of the way of the left hook. See how he controls him with the left hand? Blocks the hook and spins out of there. See? Chisora wants to dip and jump in with the hook or maybe a jab and Klitschko's not there, right? Ali would have been sitting there and Frazier would have been throwing punches because the target would be there. Klitschko just takes it away, steps off the line, faints him out of position, right? Way the hell out of position. Takes the center of the ring. Chisora is just... Klitschko just shut him down, man. He's trying, but Klitschko just has an answer for everything. Right? Anytime Chisora, be, just like Joe Frazier, before he throws that leaping left hook, he has to dip. As soon as Klitschko sees the dip, he takes the left hook away from him. You see? Boom. Or he steps out of range. Steps off the line, controls him with the lead hand. Pulls his hands down and hits him, right? He's just outboxing the shit out of him. There, there he was able to set and bounce with the left, in with the left hook, right? So he, he had some success and he threw the right punch at the right time because Klitschko was moving into it. But Klitschko basically blocks it, kind of gets hit a little bit. But he's, he's always ready. You can't. You can't surprise him with that stuff. He's seen it. He knows He knows how it works, right? You dip and you jump with it. And he's not going to be there for it. See? Look at that uppercut. Man, this guy would have pieced Joe Frazier up, man. He probably would have knocked him out in the first or second round. No way a little Frazier could take what Chisora is able to take, right, against this guy. And Chisora, who wants to be like Frazier, he can't. He can't do it against this guy, see? How are you going to dip down when now this guy is... Anytime he tries to dip, this guy is just bringing an uppercut into, into it, right? And the same thing would have been happening to, to Joe Frazier. Boom. Just constantly on you. I mean, what, you're the one pressing, right? But he's constantly catching you with shit. Look at the movement, man. Boom. Constant control, right? See? Chisora tried to dip. Oh, gonna, I think I'm going to throw the left hook. No, you're not. This isn't Ali. You can't, you can't do this shit against this man. There he goes. He had to do it very quickly. Catch the right moment where Klitschko, Klitschko's feet were up in the air, right? So he was vulnerable. So he was able to jump in with it. But you you just can't catch him with that shit, man. It's too predictable. It's too telegraphed. It, it's fucking last century shit. You know what I mean? Boxing's more advanced now. See, anytime he tries to dip, Klitschko just hasn't figured it out. Uppercuts, 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 uppercuts. He's got... Chisora has... One move, right? Well, that, that, that's one of his predominant moves. And just like Joe Frazier. Dip and jump in with the leaping left hook. 
But Klitschko has like two or three answers for that already. You know what I mean? Chisora is on the level of Joe Frazier, man. Again, not as fast, not as energetic, but stronger and more powerful. But whatever he wants to do, Klitschko is just not letting him. Because he has the technique to, to stop it from happening. So because Klitschko is so much better than Ali... Technically, he's just a smarter boxer and, and better schooled boxer. A style like Frazier is not gonna is just not gonna work on him, man. And he doesn't even have the weight advantage that that Ali enjoyed on Frazier, right? He weighs as much as Derek. The punch technique is. better than Ali see how he like really commits to that punch it's not as fast but he steps off the line and just really commits to the punch and leans into it bam Derek's just a tough MF anyway you know there we go there's some more Joe Frazier but you see he tries, he tries to be Joe Frazier. He wants to do the same thing. But as soon as he dips, Klitschko just throws a punch. The right kind of punch for the right move. And, and controls him, right? And steps out of there. He's just shutting it down constantly. Look how he's controlling his head. Stepping off the line. Right? It, 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 oh, man. I hope you guys get the point, man. But, you know, it's frustrating because you say that Chisora is Joe Frazier. And then you, you put him in there with Klitschko and, and Klitschko shuts that shit down, right? So maybe that's why, because people aren't seeing Chisora have the same kind of success as Frazier, they say, well, he's not as good. When in reality, it's the fact that someone like Klitschko is so much better than Ali that is shutting down the Frazier style. But anyway, I'm sure I've been repeating myself for a while now, but that's because... You know, it's it's about patterns. It's and if you're a predictable guy like Frazier or Chisora that does the same thing over and over. Look at that. Loma. Loma move. Bam. I know I know Lomachenko came to America and he started giving props to all the American fighters and he's promoting himself, there's no doubt about it. And he did fight like Mike Tyson a little bit when he was young and he did steal a few showboating moves from Roy Jones Jr. But Lomachenko fights like a fucking Ukrainian, okay? It's just that Americans, by and large, and, you know, just people of different persuasion never really a lot of them never really appreciated these um, awesome pugilists that were the Klitschko brothers and, and the technique and, and the ability and what they did um, so you know they don't, they'll look at this and they won't understand that or they were watching this fight and they didn't really understand how it is that someone like Klitschko was able to shut down um, someone like Chisora, right? And instead of giving Klitschko props for how he did it, Chisora is just not that good. When in reality, this guy is just as good as Joe Frazier. All things, all things considered. You know what I mean? He really is. It's just that someone like Frazier couldn't do shit against someone like Klitschko. But I know I'm beating a dead horse. It had to be done. Take it easy, y'all. Thank you for watching. I am out.